Now, today's lady code is specifically directed to our male counterparts. Ironic, right? So, today's rule says, never make a girl apologize for her feelings. Yeah, did you hear me? Never make a girl apologize for her feelings. I know we sometimes get to hurt people's feelings unknowingly. I mean, yeah, that's okay and normal. But what isn't okay is if this person you hurt comes to to tell you, you know, that they felt hurt by something you did or didn't do. And then you begin to give reasons why their pain isn't valid by becoming defensive. Some of you might even begin to make make her feel bad for feeling the way she is. And you want her to apologize for that. That's just wrong and outrightly manipulative. Welcome to a brand new week on Leisure Spot, the show for the coolest people on the internet. My name is Yari and I'm set to fill you in on some buzzing news on the entertainment space. Now going straight into that, former Big Brother 9 Justice in Full House made Diane Rosette has opened up in a recent interview about how she once hated the uh, she once hated God after the death of her father and because of the setback she experienced after that. In her words, I can remember crying more than I prayed. I remember questioning God in a couple of years. I hated God, if that makes any sense. It was difficult for me to get back to where I was with God because I struggled to pray. You know, I lost my dad, school wasn't going fine, and a lot, I had a lot of setbacks. But looking at things now, I feel that I, had, I have to have gone through that phase to be where I am today. That's why I appreciate things now, and I won't strain my journey so far for anything now. Ah, yeah, so Diane Rosette got through that, you know, she went through a very trying period and it makes sense, totally. I I wouldn't say um, I couldn't totally understand how she feels, but I am, um, I am empathetic, so I could feel, you know, kind of understand how she's going through, but I do not exactly know the feeling because I've not lost um, my dad or anything. But you know that people who lose someone... It's a very, very traumatic experience for them at that time. So I totally understand when she said she felt like she hated, she hated God, but I'm not saying that's like justified. But the good thing is she's gone past that right now and she's all strong. Meanwhile, Nollywood actress Eniola Badmus has reacted after being dragged for not isolating herself after returning from a trip from the UK. Now, the actress said she only visited one friend of hers um, after she returned from the UK and is presently indoors. A tweet she shared read, Yes, I just returned from London. I am fine. I have been indoors since my return and I had to drive my car just to visit a dear friend and return home. Now, the Nollywood actress was called out on Twitter on Sunday yesterday for not isolating herself after her trip to the United Kingdom, even after travelers all over the world have been advised to isolate themselves for a period of 14 days after visiting countries with reported cases of the coronavirus pandemic. And yeah, she did not do that. And as a matter of fact, I'm quite worried because it looks like Nigerians are not taking this thing as serious as it is. Or, I don't know why. I really don't know why. Because some people are still feeling that it's not existing, which is a very, very flawed belief to have. And some people are saying God will protect them. Yes, God will protect you, but you have to be careful. You understand? Because I don't understand why some people are still traveling in this time, in this period. But it's not my business. But anyway, the good thing is, it's my business yes it's my business because we have to talk about this you have to let people know that you have to be careful and then when you expose yourself when you're just coming back from you know when you just return and then you don't quarantine yourself you put other people at the risk of getting this virus even if you know because it, the, the information we've been getting is some people might have the virus and might not show symptoms for a really long time so you might not know if they have the virus so you just have to be safe yeah and i'm being safe right now but i'm just giving news <laughs> let's go on a quick break and when we come back there's more leisure support news on the international scene stay tuned ad4 tv radio we focus on education with emphasis on research and innovation science and technology women and girl child education children health youths and sports socio-political and economic reforms security environment entrepreneurship and entertainment will give you information at your fingertips learn on the go follow ad4 tv radio on facebook twitter linkedin instagram and youtube ad4 tv radio reliable and credible we love you ad4 tv 
Welcome back. You see, watching Leisure Spot. Now, it is Elba's wife, Sabrina Dory. Elba really meant the marriage vow in sickness and in health. Why she said this on her wedding day? Why? Because she refused to isolate himself herself from her husband, Idris Elba, after he tested positive to the coronavirus pandemic, and which he did last week. And now, she has also been tested positive to the virus. The model actress shared her diagnosis with Oprah Winfrey on Saturday during a FaceTime on Winfrey's Oprah Talks COVID-19 app, which she shared on Apple TV Plus series. Now, Sabrina said she wasn't surprised that she tested positive to the virus since she chose to stay with her husband instead of isolating herself. In other words, I wanted to be with him. That's the instinct of a wife. You want to go and take care. Now, like Idris, Sabrina said she felt fine, stating, I don't feel anything that would come to what people would now expect to be a symptom of coronavirus, which is really strange. It might change in the coming weeks and we'll keep everyone updated, but it is worrisome that we are sitting here, two people, and we are asymptomatic. That goes ahead to what I've been saying before, that some people might have the virus and not find any symptoms. So instead of them, you know, going out because they don't feel any symptoms sit back and check yourself find when you find your your positive or just you know just quarantine quarantine yourself social distancing is key at this time you understand stay far away from people i know it sounds like it's harsh and it's it's a bit of counter shock because people are going to have a bit of counter shock because um they're not used to that especially nigerians because we like to high five shake hug kiss and all that but I feel like it's best this time, so just be healthy, okay? Now, in the midst of the prevalent spread of the COVID-19 virus, convicted sex offender Harvey Weston has tested positive to the virus. Now, Weston, who is currently serving a 23-year sentence at the maximum security when the correctional facility, reportedly tested positive alongside an unnamed inmate. Now, the former Hollywood mogul is said to be informed of his results, but has since been in isolation. The 68-year-old filmmaker was convicted of first-degree criminal sex act, third-degree rape, and sentenced to 20 and 3 years respectively, and which he was sentenced on the February, um, February the 24th of this year. Aha! Uh -huh. And this sounds like an almost death sentence to commit to um, Happy Western right now because he's 68, and from the reports we've been getting, people, older persons, have a higher risk of dying for the virus. But um, we are not saying he's going to die from the virus or anything. That's what I'm saying. But the news is he has been tested positive. But the sad thing is they have not told him yet. They're just isolating him. So he doesn't know that he has the virus. Or he probably doesn't even know what's going on in the world. How sad. And he's now suspended 23 years in prison. Please, let us go on another break. And when we come back, we're going to jump into our Lady Code 101. Stay tuned. Do you have a ceremony or an occasion you want covered? If yes, contact us to give you on parallel services on our TV, radio, via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have an outdoor garden facility to cater for all your ceremonies, such as birthdays, reunions, receptions, etc. Our rates are modest and customer friendly. Please visit us at number 3, plot 833, Emmanuel Aguna Crescent, Jabi Abuja, FCT Nigeria. For more details, contact us on the following numbers: plus two three four eight zero eight zero eight seven four 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 four, plus two three four nine zero five 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 six two four four four, plus two three four seven zero two zero three 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 four four four. Eighty four TV Radio, reliable and credible. Learn on the go. Welcome back. You're still watching Leisure Sport and you're right in time for the Lady Code 101. Now, today's Lady Code is specifically directed to our male counterparts. Ironic, right? Yes. Why? Because it seems like y'all need more orientation in understanding how to deal with us ladies. So today's rule says, never make a girl apologize for her feelings. Yeah. Did you hear me? Never make a girl apologize for her feelings. I know we sometimes get to hurt people's feelings unknowingly. I mean, yeah, that's okay and normal. But what isn't okay is if this person you hurt comes to, to tell you, you know, that they felt hurt by something you did or didn't do, and then you begin to give reasons why their pain isn't valid by becoming defensive. Some of you might even begin to make, that, make her feel bad for feeling the way she is, and you want her to apologize for that. That's just wrong and outrightly manipulative. 
So what should you do if your girl lets you know that you hurt her? Simply listen. Try to understand what made her tick and sincerely apologize until she's calm. Until she's calm. And when she is, you can now go ahead to explain how and where she misunderstood you. But whatever you do, don't make her apologize for her feelings. Just don't. It's just wrong. I mean, how would you feel if that's done to you? Now, this goes both ways, of course. I mean, once our friends or partners tell us what we did that hurts them, it's our role and our responsibility to right the wrong we did to them and not make them feel sorry, you know, for feeling the way they feel. I mean, that's it. <laughs> that's it on today's episode of Leisure's Family. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow 84 TV Radio on all social media platforms. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me personally on Instagram and Twitter on the handle showing right there on your screen. I am Mayari, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Ladies, we're talking girl code. We're giving you the hottest, spiciest, sizzling entertainment gist. If you're not watching Leisure Sports, you're boring. <laughs> what are you waiting for? It's fun. It's juicy. It's the hottest entertainment show on screen.